we're going to start <coughs> by make, opening up your paint window and then resizing your canvas. Now your canvas could be resized by using these arrows right here. Now it's good to start with a width of uh, 600, 1200 or what have you. And then you can watch the bottom of your screen there on the status bar. See the numbers going down. You want it to be about 100 wide. Okay, you can also do it this way. You click on your attributes. You can size according to this. Width and height. 800 wide by 100 tall to make any gradient. Now, in order to make a gradient, what we're trying to do is we're trying to blend from one color to another. Now you can do it by doing something like this. paint two different colors and then blend the two and then squish them together. Now let me go ahead and show you how to do this here. Resize and skew. Take your vertical, drop it down to 1% and you can resize and skew and you stretch it by 500%. You can't do over 500% of the time, so don't bother trying. And you have to repeat this process about four times, depending upon how big you want your depending on how big you want your canvas. Now you can stop with just one and use it as a color change, like this. Now let's just save this. And this could be just a custom palette right here. And you always want to try and save in a, in a format that's going to be um, easily editable later, which is usually 24-bit. If you try using paint, you try using another format. You usually want to save in a JPEG format or other format after you're done doing all your editing because if you don't it really makes it tough because it pixelates really bad. So let's go ahead and start with a new one. You've now made a gradient. Let's go ahead and start with a new one. Now let's go back here, resize back to a hundred. Okay. Now the other option you can have is to take your colors and you can just pick a preformed shape, such as your brush tool. If you take your brush tool, you press your control button and your plus key, it will grow up to be a big old size here. Now you can do this. You can change the color. And you can have all kinds of fun effects. You can go to blue yellow, green, what have you. Now what's going to happen here is once you squish this up, you can come up with a completely custom palette. Or you can also use this as a background for doing other work. blend the colors in between as well. So what you're going to wind up with here is a random sorting here. Now before you do this, again, save your work as you go because quite honestly, if you don't save your work, you can't always recreate this stuff. So you want to save in steps and you want to work in steps. Save, save, save is your mantra because the reality of it is if you get something that turns out really good and you didn't save it as you went, you will not know how to recreate it later. And you can't duplicate anything if you're painting like we're doing right here. So let's just do uh, custom gradient. Then you save it. Now let's go up here and let's squish it down to 1%. Go back up, resize 500% three times. Let's see, resize 
two times, three times, three sides, three times. Three sides for the fourth time. That should give us 625 pixels on the canvas. Now what you want to do is go back to attributes. Ah, 625, and you want to go ahead and round that back down to 600 so you have an even palette that's equal to what your normal screen size would be once upon a time in Windows. Um, this is a good round color to work with. You can go with higher numbers, but it does get a little tedious to work with. Now, that you have this, let's go ahead and save this as a completed gradient. Okay, let's see, save this as multi gradient 24 bits and away you go now to go on to the next step go ahead and minimize this window go up pop up a new window now this is a brand new window in paint then what you can do is you want to say you want to do a custom color or custom layout for lettering okay that doesn't work so good so let's go with the gray Let's put some lettering down here. Do your your uh, <coughs> your transparent color here is a good idea because this way you can put in whatever text you want. And what you're going to wind up with is text that's big or small, and it's also going to reflect what we layer on or, or layer over the top of the gradient, which I'll show you how to do. Now this is our second one. Let's go ahead, change our color to white because we want our, la our lettering white so that the, the background gradient will bleed through when we paste this over the top of it. This is a form of layering. Okay. You can apply several la layers to get your desired effects. Now, with this here, we can highlight it. We can use this here. We can change the text font. We can change the font size. Now, you can take off the bowl, put on the bowl. All these options are here for you. Now, once you do this, you go ahead and select it. Now, suppose you want this center. Now, we want the background to turn out white. Okay, the background is gray. The foreground is white. So, when we move this around, we want to grab it. And we want to move it around, so you want to change your background color to the same gray as the background. Sort this and separate it and put it however you want. And you go back up here to your selection tool. Select all. Right click, copy it. <clears throat> now it's copied. I've also opened up another paint window. Right here. Brand new window. We're going to minimize it. We're going to open up our window here. Now we're going to go back to our selection tool. We're going to select transparent color. We're going to right click and you're going to paste. Now we have text that's laying on top of our gradient. <clears throat> this can come up with some pretty cool lettering effects. Once you're done with this, you go ahead and you click another tool, click on this. Click Select All, copy it again, then we're going to go down to that other new window. We're going to click Selection Tool, we're going to paste it. Now the only thing you have to do at this point is go back in here, and because it's a white background, you right click on your paint can, and it will take out.